As the gun debate rages on, President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence held a meeting at the NRA with the White House. Yeah, they the were there last night. Meanwhile, the president calling the summit, I guess, a success, tweeting good, great meeting in the Oval Office tonight with the NRA. But while some are calling for tougher gun regulations, our next guest says it's not about gun control. It all goes back to the family. Here to explain, Steve Hilton, host of The Next Revolution here on Fox News. Steve, good morning to you. What do you mean? Good morning. Look, Steve, this has been going on for decades now. We've seen a, a steady breakdown, not just of other institutions in, in society like communities, but the family. More and more children are being raised in broken homes. And that's a factor, not just in these extreme cases where you have these incredibly disturbed young men that go on to commit these horrific crimes, but in so many of the other problems that we talk about and deal with, whether that's um, welfare dependency or drug addiction or um, ways in which the school system isn't working and kids aren't learning and can't get jobs, it all comes back to the family because if every child was raised in a stable, loving home, then so many of the problems that we deal with would actually be solved at their source. Yeah, but that means give up because we're never going to fix every family and we have to fix this problem yesterday, uh, let alone wait for family, uh, family values to take root again. Well, I just don't think that's right. I think that you've, it's, it's, an, it's a long-term thing. We've allowed it to deteriorate over the long term. And that doesn't mean you give up, because actually there are practical things you can do to help families come together and like stay what? together. You can support marriage. Well, marriage is, is one of those issues that no one wants to talk about. But if you look at the data on when families break up, it's really clear that it happens just around the time that, that children are born, because it's an incredibly stressful time. If couples are married when they have mm -hmm. children, Children, it means that they stay together longer. We can do things to help couples in those stressful situations. We can make marriage more of a social norm. We can, we can start to say that it's important. The tax system, the welfare system, all of these things actually undermine mm -hmm. marriage. So there are things that we can do to help families come together and stay together. You're right, that's not going to fix something that happens next month. But when are we going to start? It's such an important yeah. long-term problem. I think it's something we need to talk about more and politicians need to pay attention to because it's the most important issue, I think, facing America. Mm -hmm. I know you're raising kids at home. What do you do at home? Because I know you, you, you emphasize how important it is to be a strong family unit. What are you teaching your kids? Well, Enzi, I think the number one thing is time, is actually really making time to, to be together as a family and do those simple things where you just, you know, do a bedtime story every night. Mm -hmm. A lot of families don't do that anymore because they think they can put their kids in front of an app or an iPad or whatever, and it's just the same. It's not. It's those so small, simple, quite old-fashioned things like spending time together, um, reading with each other, getting rid of the screens mm -hmm. that can interrupt those relationships right. between parents and children. That's what it's all about. And it all adds up in the end. Steve Hilton, we thank you very much. We look forward to your show Sunday, 9 p.m., right here on the Fox News Channel. Thank you, thank Steve. Thank you, Steve.